thanks for watching the fumble. Boxing is in a good place right now, like better than it's been in years. You have Anthony Joshua who's on the rise and making the sport entertaining. You have the potential matchup between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor, which is incredibly interesting. And now we officially have a date for the Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez fight, September 16. Official like a referee whistle. <laughs> I had to get that in because I know how much you guys love it when I say that. <laughs> Despite the size disadvantage, Canelo had zero issues whooping on Julio Caesar Chavez Jr. And to be honest, the fight itself was a bit underwhelming. All three judges gave Alvarez all 12 rounds. The most exciting part of this fight was Triple G coming out and the fight between him and Canelo being announced. At the end of the fight, Canelo calls out Triple G saying he's next, and then Gennady's music and entrance play, and he comes out to announce that fight. Am I to understand that the deal is done, that there will be a fight between you two in September of this year? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After we waited five years for the can't miss fight between Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, it felt good to see this fight be made while both fighters are actually still in their peak. On September 16, which is Mexican Independence Day, they'll fight for a place in history. The location hasn't been announced yet, sadly. All right, Golovkin said Canelo will be the greatest challenge of his career so far, and Canelo said the same. They ended it with this. Golovkin said, good luck in September, and Canelo said, luck is for the mediocre. <laughs> and then that was it. Dun, dun, dun. All right, who wins the fight between Triple G and Canelo? Tell me what you think in the comments below. For all things sports, subscribe before you go. Click that Fumble logo right there, tap the bell so you don't miss any news, and I'll see you soon.